Hello folks, this is the part 3 video of uh, deployment on Heroku uh, topic. In this video, I will be covering remaining steps to deploy our sentiment analysis web app on Heroku. So watch this video till the end to get the complete information. Folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. And you can acquire the related skill sets in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes on hands-on approach uh, to build AI based products and services, uh, in fact products and applications. So if you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century so let's get started uh, with the remaining steps okay so the steps covered in the previous video were with respect to the web app okay now uh, we will cover steps related to heroku environment setup okay so here uh, first we will create the uh, proc file okay so this is the proc file as you can see here and let me open it in the notepad plus plus okay so this is the uh, proc file okay so this proc file uh, is uh, is a file which is used to tell Heroku about the details about booting our application that is uh, it, it contains the uh, commands which Heroku runs to initiate uh, our code okay so it would be like uh, running python app.py from command line okay so we will type the command like web as you can see here web colon unicorn app colon app hyphen hyphen log hyphen file so in order to basically uh, generate the logs we need to in include this command okay equals to hyphen okay inside this file which is a proc file and then we need to save it one thing to note here is that you should not include any extensions like .txt or .doc or .csv file uh, while saving uh, this particular file okay so you can use uh, notepad plus plus to save this file without extension okay so you can just do something like this save as all right and uh, when you come on to the save as type you can just click on here all types okay then it won't include any uh, extensions as such okay so make sure that there is no extension uh, associated with this file okay you just need to click on all types and this will be uh, saved as it is okay here all right so we will now make use of git to uh, add all the code to the repository and we will type the command something like this all right so we will type the command git and then after that add and then dot and then press enter okay so it will run set of commands here so once these commands are run you need to uh, run another command now so now you can type a command like uh, git commit okay then hyphen m for including the message and you can type initial commit okay so this is just to commit the uh, code into the repository then press enter here the code has been committed now okay please note that repo has not been syn synced with heroku yet so we will uh, then tell heroku that we will be using python build back build pack hence we also need to run this command okay heroku build packs colon set and then heroku slash python I'm not going to run this command because I've already ran it so you can just because first time you if you are doing it then you need to run this command heroku build packs colon set then hyphen uh, space heroku slash python okay so I'm not going to run it I have already ran it so now we will actually create our app instance 
on the Heroku servers. Okay, so this is where we specify the name of our app. Okay, so let's type this command like Heroku create sentiment analysis and then zero one. Okay, so here the app will be created with the name sentiment analysis zero one. So you need to provide a unique name. Otherwise, it will, uh, you know, it will provide a message something like name uh, sentiment analysis uh, something something is already taken. So please make sure that you are uh, choosing a unique name. All right. All right. So let's press enter. All right. So we can see that uh, there are two URLs which are generated along with the, uh, you know, so here you can see there is this one URL. Okay. And then there is this another URL, okay, which is specific to the Git repository, okay. So this Git repository depicts a remote endpoint where we can push our code as well, okay. So now let's copy paste uh, this first URL, this one, and see it in our browser. Okay, so this is my browser. Let me copy paste it. Perfect. So now you can see uh, that a placeholder page is shown here. Okay. Uh, we need to basically push our code from Git repository to the Heroku's repository here now in order to see our web app. This is just a placeholder page. Okay. So this is the URL of, of our web app. Okay. So now we need to uh, cop, uh, in fact, uh, we need to uh, push the code from Git repository, our own Git repository to the Heroku's repository. So you can now start pushing your code to the app you have just created. So to confirm you are uh, basically pushing to the correct remote app. Okay, repo, remote app repo, run this command. Okay, so this command you need to run git remote hyphen v okay so you can see here okay so meaning that we are in the right repo okay we are pushing into the right repo lastly uh, next we need to push the code using a command called git push heroku master okay so once you press enter it will take little bit of time uh, to basically um, move the or uh, you know build uh, in fact move this code to the uh, heroku repository okay so let's press enter and you will see that it it will start okay let me take a look at it all right so the problem was that it was uh, incorrectly picking up my last deployment okay so i already deployed this app once Okay, so it was picking up that last deployment. So I just cleared it up, uh, you know, uh, cleared the cache. So now I'm going to run this command once again. So now you can see that it has started deploying this app. Okay, so let's wait for some time. So as you can see here, when I pressed enter, okay, uh, the application got installed remotely, okay, which means that our application was deployed on Heroku, and you can see the message here as well, thus that this particular uh, URL deployed to Heroku, okay. So this is the URL where we can uh, access our sentiment analysis web app on Heroku, okay, or through browser, so that you can show it to the entire world, right and uh, we will uh, now start the virtual machine or the server or the dyno which and we will use the command something like heroku ps colon scale web equals to one okay so uh, we will run this command uh, to uh, you know and the meaning of this command is that one dyno or server will be assigned to our application okay and you can see the message scaling dyno is done now running web at one free okay so this is the message we have got so we can see that our app is successfully running now and anybody can access it using the url mentioned in this uh, here okay so this is the 
URL which is mentioned here okay you can use the Heroku CLI to launch the app in your default browser so you can just type Heroku open okay and it will open the application in the browser okay so you can see that it has opened our application and you can see the web the usual web interface which is already known to you earlier it was uh, opening up on uh, local system uh, using the URL or the web address 127.0.0.1 which was the local host now here you can see that uh, unique URL uh, for your app using HTTPS colon slash a sentiment analysis 01 dot heroku app dot com now you can provide this particular link to any of your friends or families who and you can ask them to uh, you know you they can access it uh, from anywhere right all right so uh, one thing also to mention here that if you want to check the status of your dino or server you can type the command heroku ps okay something like this Heroku PS and you will be able to see the status of your server or dyno and if you encounter any log then you can see the logs using a command called so you can see here the status of your server and uh, if you are encountering any issues or errors then you can see the logs using the command Heroku logs okay so you will be able to see the logs using this command so since a free tier gives a limited time for your dynos so you can shut down your web app using a command okay so here you can see the complete log right just like this so you can uh, basically shut down uh, your web app using a command called heroku ps scale web equals to zero okay and this will shut down your app okay now you can see the message scaling dynos done now running web at zero so that means there is no app running right now the app is shut down okay so folks this is it for this video to conclude i explained a remaining steps to uh, you know uh, deploy our web app on heroku in a step by step manner and you can see that it is already accessible on this link so folks let me ask you a question from uh, this video uh, what is the file extension of proc file please post your comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also ask your technical questions in the comment section I will be glad to answer your questions and if you're watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.